the fourth most common misconception in the mind of the non-Muslim is Islam was spread by the sword. What is the meaning of the word Islam? Islam comes from the root word Salam, which means peace. It's also derived from the Arabic word Silm, which means to submit your will to Almighty God. Islam, in short, means peace acquired by submitting our will to Almighty God. So if I translate, Islam was spread by the sword, it means peace was spread by the sword. It's contradictory. How can peace be spread by the sword? And we know that every human being in the world would not want peace to prevail. Islam is a religion of peace. Its main aim and objective is to spread peace. But every human being in this world would not want peace to prevail. That's the reason every country in the world has a police force. This police force many a time uses force to maintain peace in that country. They don't use force to disrupt peace. If the anti-social elements want to disrupt peace, the police of the various countries, they use force to maintain peace in that country. Similarly, in Islam, Islam is against violence. It's against fighting. It's against using force, except as a last resort to maintain peace. Similarly, Islam does give permission to use force to let justice and peace prevail in that land. And the best reply to this allegation that Islam was spread by the sword is given very well by a very famous historian by the name of Delisi O'Leary. In the book, Islam at the Crossroad, on page number eight, history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping across the world, forcing Islam at the point of the sword over conquered races is the most fantastic myth that historians have ever repeated. I will repeat a statement. Delacy O'Leary says in the book Islam at the Crossword, page number 8, that history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping across the world, forcing Islam at the point of the sword over conquered races is the most fantastic myth that historians have ever repeated. Which sword? We Muslims, we ruled Spain for 800 years. We didn't do the job. We didn't convey the message of Islam to the non-Muslims. Later on, the Crusaders came, the Christians came, and they wiped out the Muslims. There was not a single Muslim who could openly give the Azan. If you read history, the religion that was spread by force was the religion of Christianity. If you read history, hundreds of thousands of people have been killed in the name of Christianity. And today, these same people are telling that Islam was spread by the sword. We Muslims, we have been the rulers of the Arab land for the past 1400 years. For a few years, the Britishers came, for a few years the French came, but as a whole, the Muslims have been the rulers of the Arab land for the past 14 years. Yet today, there are 14 million Arabs who are Coptic Christians. Coptic Christian means the Christians in generation. These 14 million Coptic Christians, they are giving Shahada, they are bearing witness that Islam was inspired by the sword. We Muslims, we ruled India for more than a thousand years. If we wanted, we could have converted each and every Indian at the point of the sword. We didn't do it. Today, more than 80% of the Indians are non-Muslims. These 80% non-Muslim Indians, they are giving shahada. They are bearing witness that Islam was inspired by the sword. Today, the country which has the maximum number of Muslims, it is Indonesia. Which Muslim army went to Indonesia? Which Muslim army went to Malaysia? Malaysia has more than 50% Muslims. Which Muslim army went to the east coast of Africa? Which sword? The reply is given by Thomas Carlyle, a very famous historian from Europe. He writes in his book, Heroes and Hero Worship, and he places Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as his hero. And he writes in his book, Heroes and Hero Worship, that which sword? First, you have to find your sword. 
Which sword? First, you have to find their sword. Every new idea originates in the mind of one. In one man's head, it dwells alone. One man against the whole world. It will do little good that he picks up a sword and propagates it. You have to find your sword. He's talking about the sword of intellect. Which sword has made hundreds and thousands of human beings to accept Islam? He's talking about the sword of intellect. And I started my talk by quoting a verse of the glorious Quran from Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 125. He says, Udu ila sabil rabbika bhalikma, wal mu'azid hasna, wajadun billat hiya asan. Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them and reason with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. It is the sort of reason logic which is conquering the hearts of the people. It's not the sort of metal. Even if we had the sort of steel, we could not use it. Because Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 256, like Rahafid Deen, there is no compulsion in religion. But truth stands out clear from error. Thomas Carlyle is talking about the sort of intellect, the sort of reasoning. There was a survey done by the Reader Rajesh Almanic yearbook in 1984, and this article was reprinted in the Plain Truth magazine. It did a survey of the increase in the major world religions in a span of 50 years, from 1934 to 1984. And in that survey, the religion that spread maximum number one, it was Islam, 235%. Christianity, only 47%. I am asking a simple question. Which war took place in this span of 50 years between 1934 and 1984, which forced tens of thousands of human beings to accept Islam? Which war? Today, the fastest growing religion in America is Islam. The fastest growing religion in Europe is Islam. I am asking who is forcing these Americans and Europeans to accept Islam? Which thought? Today the media is attacking Islam and saying Islam subjugates the woman. Do you know, out of those accepting Islam in America and Europe, Two-thirds of them are women. If Islam subjugates the women, why are the American women? Why are the European women accepting Islam? Who is forcing them? <laughs> Yesterday we saw, mashallah, a Westerner, a lady. Mashallah, she gave shahada, she accepted Islam. Who forced her? Did we use the sword? We used the sword of intellect. <laughs> the sword of reasoning. To end, the answer to this question on was Islam spread with the sword, I'd like to quote to you the saying of Adam Pearson. Adam Pearson says, people who worry that one day nuclear weaponry will fall in the hands of the Arabs, they fail to realize that the Islamic bomb, the bomb of peace, has already been dropped. It fell the day Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born.